All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and pop up the picks. There they are. So there are my picks. I, I, I went off and hit three long shots. So that's why I have eight picks this week. Jared is uh, in half with the four and is one long shot. So, uh, yeah, Jan's trying to figure out. Well, I don't see nothing. It's not on my screen. I know. I'm like, come on. I want to know now. No, 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 no. You got to wait. Jared's long shot. It's not on the screen to yet. You got to wait like everybody else. So, uh, so, look, we have 17 minutes to go. So let's get through this. Everybody knows how we feel about Scheffler, so we don't have to go there. Um, McElroy, uh, just quickly on McElroy, his stats are terrible so far this year. I mean, he is just all over the place, and, and that bothers me. But uh, keep in mind, uh, he, the, the, the worst, the, the last time he had such a bad start to his PGA Tour season was 2018. And he had a very similar type of first four where he just didn't play well at all. His best in, in 2018 in the first four was 20th. He had two missed cuts and a 59th. Then he had, then, excuse me, he went to, um, uh, uh, excuse me, then he went to uh, Bay Hill. And I think he did pretty well at Bay Hill. I think that was his win at Bay Hill, actually. Um, and so my point is, is that even though he had those first four that weren't very good. He turned it on at Bay Hill and won his first ever and only event at Bay Hill. So he's capable because he's such a great player of, of doing that. The problem yeah. is he's 12 to one. You're getting much better odds. You're getting double odds with other players who are playing better than him. And that's why I still think it's kind of tough to take Rory this week. He, he he's flat. He's flashed like old, like classic Rory form on occasion, right? Like Pebble Beach, he raced out to a lead on Thursday last week on Saturday. He, did he shoot like 30 on the back nine or something? He's just, yeah. he's had too many bad holes, too many bogeys. He just, he hasn't been consistent enough. And, you know, I, I don't, I don't think you can bet him at 12 to one with, with how he's playing right now. Not with water. You know, the thing is when he hits those big old crooked shots, you know, like, I mean, he carried, the, he carried on 10, he went all the way over the out of bounds and uh, last week and then and drove it on the green. And that's great, but to not be able to control your ball. I mean, you've got to be able to coming down that stretch You've got to be able to control the ball, and and right now it's go, he's going sideways. I mean, he's he's um he swing. It really doesn't change that much, but he must be there must be something. But he hits a big right to left, which you know the golf course suits right to left. But he's had he's got too much hook in his in his shots right now. So I think he needs a little bit of technique work. Um, and like you said, he's funny how you can't tell. He, he gets streaky. Um, maybe he'll do. I know he's he's really aiming at the Masters. So after this, I bet he takes off some time to figure out what's wrong. Last year he changed his driver. Remember he went to a shorter driver and he controlled it again because he was losing control. But um, his swing needs a little bit of work. Uh, keep in mind, in his last six trips to TPC, three of them are missed cuts. Wow. And, and one was a win. And and that's typical of players. Okay, yeah. because uh, yeah. one of the other trends. In this field, there's not one player who has more than four career top tens at TPC Sawgrass. Not wow. one has more than four. That just shows you how tough and inconsistent every player is on this golf course. Um, all right, so next group, we have Shoffle, Thomas, Hovland, Homa. And Thomas is Jared's top pick. Uh, and Homa is my top pick. So... Uh, nice. Uh, Homa to me is like I said. I love the fact that he's gotten better each time here. Two over, six under, eight under, sixth like you said last year, thirteenth the year before that. He's also trending the same way this year. Miscut sixteenth, eighth in his last three. The combination, I love that. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, meanwhile, Thomas again. The only thing with Thomas is he's won this before. So he'd have to win it two times in the next three years. Uh, that's a little bit difficult to do. Um, he's also not played particularly well the last two years here, but throw out the miscut at Genesis when he was partnered with Tiger for the first couple of day, well, the first day. Uh, the fact is, is that uh, he's been really good. Yeah, j just going back to your Homa pick, which I, I love. You know, I always uh, love Homa bets. Um, you know, he he had. He had some nice finishes in California, as he usually does. He really wasn't hitting it great, and the numbers kind of back that up. He said after his Sunday round at Bay Hill that like he kind of felt like he turned a corner and he liked how he was hitting it at Bay Hill, and his 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 stats were a bit better there. So you know, everything sort of trending in the right direction for home, including you know how he's performed at this course. So I love that pick. Yeah, Thomas is my top pick. You look at those three top ten lists we looked at: course history total strokes gained this year and uh, Florida courses. 
two guys appear on the top 10 on all three of those lists. One is Scotty Scheffler. The other is Justin Thomas. I think, you know, it's just a good course fit for him. I like him on these, you know, accuracy courses. I think you have to hit a lot of different types of shots here. Is that, it, wouldn't you agree with that, Jan? You got to kind of be able, be able to work it both ways. Justin Thomas mm-hmm. can do that. As we said, he's a really good short game player. I just think he, and, 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 you know, Greg and I have been saying really for the past couple months now that we think Thomas is trending towards a win um, just the way he's, he's been playing so far this year. Well, plus he lives at a golf course where it has the same grass on the, on the greens. So that part helps too, because he's the course that the Bears Club, they do the same thing. They have um, Tiff Eagle with Obesita with Poa, so they can at least practice there. Um, so that helps. Uh, shot so, go ahead. No, no so that, that part helps. I don't know that he's yeah, – I know he's so desperate to win. I don't know. But everybody's so, – the ones that haven't won are so desperate to win that I don't yeah. know. It's hard. Well, that includes yep. Shafle. He hasn't won since 2022. He, yep. he, he is runner-up at 14 under par in his first appearance here, which is almost impossible to do. And then his last three appearances after that, miscut, miscut, miscut. <laughs> and then he was 19th last year. So, um, But he's just, I don't know, I do think that there's something to that, especially with Shafle and Cantlay. We saw that at Genesis. I just They're just starting to maybe feel it. Uh, when, when they're getting close to 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 another win because it's been so long, um, and then Hovland, I also think Hovland's statistics so far haven't been all that great, but he he did get a little bit better for a time last week, but it was just too inconsistent last week as well. But his uh, experiences here have also been very good. Miscut ninth and third, so he's really been playing well here the last two years. But again, I just don't know the way he's playing. It doesn't fit with the type of player that needs to win at players. Right. Well, again, you know, I mean, his short game, you know, he's, if he's weak, any weakness, even though his, his bunker plays improved, he's still, his chipping's not great. I mean, it's not, it's the weakest part of this game. Everything is great. But I mean, I guess the weakest yeah. part of this game is still his short game. And it, it improved. It was better last year. And then he, he switched coaches again, right, Jan? He mm-hmm. switched short game coaches here. He got rid of who he was using last year. And now it's kind of taking a step back again. So that's, okay. that's been disappointing to say. That's weird. Yeah. All right. Uh, next grouping, you got Cantlay, Morikawa, Spieth. Uh, let's just quickly with those three. Again, as I mentioned with Cantlay, hasn't won since 2022. No top 15s. Three miscuts out of the last four years. So I just can't go there. Um, and then you got Spieth. He's also just been a little bit too inconsistent lately. I don't know what's going on there. And he's only made four of nine career cuts at uh, players so i just don't think you can go with spieth and morikawa was 13th last year that was a pretty good that was his best showing but uh yeah there's also i mean morikawa's game just has not been the same for the past year and now uh a few months no i mean i thought once you once he got married and settled down um but that uh i don't know i'm i'm and plus he's another one that you know short game wise uh, that, if yeah. anything, there's a little kink in that. And, you know, you've got to be able to hit all those shots at that golf course. You get some pretty – and plus, you remember, again, he's he's a West Coast man, and uh, that yeah. that grass is hard. I mean, if, I remember talking to Phil about play, chipping in a Bermuda, and he's like, you know, I think I'm a brilliant chipper. I said, you are. But he goes, this grass, when it, when it starts to get a little bit ratty, when you know, as it starts to transition – there's you hit the shot and it just disappears into sand and it's so hard you have really have to be coming so so shallow and if it's long grass as well and then and it's such a hard shot to to play um you have to just i'm used to it because obviously i'm in florida and it is tough all right next group we have uh matsuyama zala torres uh ludwig uh at 35 to 1 uh that's his new uh name on this show because uh, he, he he's confusing us with his last name, <laughs> uh, but Matsuyama again. If it's not for that Sunday potential injury deal, mm-hmm. he's definitely he's in my picks. So he's definitely uh, an, a big time option because he has six top twenty fives out of eight appearances. That's as good as you're going to see from anybody here at Players. Um, he only won top five though, but that was last year when he was fifth. And he's coming in, obviously playing uh, really well after the win and looked really good last week until we don't know if he's a little bit banged up. Um, and then Zalatoris, of course. I mean, come on, you're still getting 35 to 1 with Zalatoris, which is awesome, which is again why he's in my is picks. He? Yeah, he's 35 to is he 1. Still, is he still 35? Now, I don't think he's going to be 35 to 1 in most sports books, but he's 35 okay. to 1 here at DraftKings. And um, oh gosh, he is. 
Uh, and obviously, he's playing great. I mean, he had a four, what, a four shot lead yesterday, last week. It looked like he was going to. Five, five shot. Five, five shot. shot lead. It looked like he was going to be <laughs> yeah. the one that was going to run away with it, but unfortunately, yep. um, did not play well late on Saturday and then had nothing on Sunday. Yeah, there's again. It, it's very similar golf course. There's some holes where if you miss it or shot at the wrong time, you're going to be. It's a it's a double, you know, because you're in the water. It's not just out of the long grass. You you, you miss hit a shot and you're done. Um, so I, I like Zelatoris right now. I mean, he's he's definitely on my list. But I don't know. It's it, I'm I'm actually getting more confused. <laughs> I mean, I really I like Matsuyama again, but it's um, I just think chipping. His putting's so much better I, now that he can practice his putting. But and he lives in, you know, he lives here. He's got a place in Orlando for the winter, so he's been used to this grass. He was he was also the first round leader the COVID year that got canceled. Mm. I remember because yeah. I I, I, I had right. him that year and I was very excited. And <laughs> yeah. The tournament. Yeah. yeah, I mean, keep in mind though, as, as with the water and it's a difficult course, some difficult holes. It is an easier golf course than Bay Hill. So it's not even close. So the last several years, even we've had what 17 under, 15 under, 14 under. So that's much different than what you're. So so even though it's tough, it's not as tough, and that will um, you know make it a little bit forgiving. Um, but uh, still, you better be on top of your game with all the uh, potential hazards out there. Okay. Uh, well, the, the reason is because you know at Bay Hill they lengthened the course for the PGA, and when they do that it changes the angles you, you think of number two you think of number three that dog leg around the water and of course number six and they keep moving the tee back and it narrows the driving area and look how many hit in the water on six and they and they're trying to cut across to, so that they don't get in that long grass and have to chip out and and then they have a second shot that's that's like 10 feet across and so it's it they Whereas at TPC, it was designed as a long golf course when they renovated it. So it's designed that the angles are easier than at Bay Hill. Bay Hill, it's, it's actually unfair for those guys. Yeah, Fleetwood and Nap, that was really hard to see uh, what they went through uh, on that hole. Um, okay, so let's uh, uh, skip to our picks. And um, uh, let's, uh, first of all, uh, talk about because we've already gone through actually just Thomas, Homa. Again, I have Homa, Zalatoris, and Matsuyama as my top three. Uh, Jared is, uh, Thomas is his top pick. So let's go to the uh, three more picks now before we get to uh, before we get to some long shots. Uh, Jared is going with Sam Burns as his second pick at forty to one. That was my my, my uh, uh, one and done last week, and he was doing awesome until Sunday's disaster. Yeah, and then. Uh, I am going to go with my fourth and fifth picks, Shane Lowry and Wyndham Clark, uh, because I just can't believe Wyndham Clark is still forty-five to one. So, wow! Uh, that's the only reason I took him. I just—you got to be kidding me! Uh, he's still forty-five to one. So anyway, let's talk about those three: Burns, uh, Clark, and Lowry. First, uh, Burns, Jared. Yeah, Burns' Sunday is definitely concerning, um, but it's it's a really tough golf course. He can make big numbers at Bay Hill pretty easily. He had played awesome through the first three rounds. He's played awesome this season so far. Again, go back to our top 10 in total strokes gained this year. Sam Burns is fourth on that list. Sam Burns is a – what, he's a – LSU guy, I, I think you know, he's, he's definitely a uh, Southeast we guy. We talked about likes, it last likes, week. Likes, yeah. likes this grass type. I like Bert, betting Sam Burns in Florida. Obviously, he's won at, at the Valspire, Valspire multiple times. So I think 40 to 1 is a good number for a guy. Burns is one of those guys where if he gets in the mix on Sunday, I, I think I, I know I know, uh, have have faith faith in him to, to close a deal. I think he could win an event like this. The, the only thing that, that we've what talked about. What happened to Tom Springs? Yeah. I, I mean, he's not going to win every time he's in the mix, but he's he, he's won he's won big big events, right? I mean, he's, he threw yeah. that away and gave it to Nick. I mean, it, he couldn't even hit the green with an eight on. That's disgraceful. Yeah, the only thing is, is uh, the one thing he hasn't done yet is win the really big ones. He yeah, and not look good in them. He hasn't looked good in majors quite often, and so far he hasn't looked all that great at players as well. He's done okay, but that's the last thing that Sam Burns needs to do. But he's gotten off to such a good start that maybe this is the year. Sort of similar to what we saw with Homa last year. And that I think we're anticipating from Homa this year as well, mm -hmm. is that he's going to start breaking through with these big events. Um, okay, so, and then I have Lowry and um, 
Clark. Uh, so again, Lowry at forty to one. Clark, by the way, is fifty to one now at DraftKings. Wow. So wow. Lowry's just playing too good right now for me not to take him. Uh, only has one top ten here, but that's okay. Third and fourth in his last two events, um, and 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 that's uh, his best run um, since two thousand nineteen. When he had three top tens, so it goes. So it's, it has been a long time since Shane Lowry's put three top tens in, in in a row on tour. So you are betting against that, or, and 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 or I'm betting with that. Uh, Clark, meanwhile, best finish was 27th last year, so that's not too great, but it was okay enough for me coming off uh, a really good showing last week. By the way, quickly, Jan, what did you think? Because some people think that Wyndham Clark should have been penalized more for his conduct uh, uh, last week. Oh, well, I, I just think wind of clock. I like to see a little bit of color. I mean, you know, I mean, come on. We've, I know it's a gentleman's sport, but let's, it, you know, the, it, last week it was unfair. I mean, I already said that. And I like, I love his golf swing. I think, you know, he's always been kind of aggressive and, and, um, you know, like they say that when they, when they play against him in Texas, that he's like, oh, let's, let's double that bet. You know, I mean, he's very <laughs> confident. So I, I like that actually. Anything on those two, Lowry, Clark? Well, I love, I think Lowry right now um, is swinging great. You know, he's comfortable here in Florida now. He's had two years living here. And, you know, and I really am one of those people that totally believe in, you know, when you're on a good streak. And he drove it brilliantly on Sunday. I mean, he was playing with Scotty and under the pressure, he just, he really drove it really well. So that's something impressive, especially for TPC. I'm, I'm looking at Lowry. All right, we've got two minutes left, so let's go through the long shots. Jared, you've got Fina. Finally, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> let's go with Jared's two long shots. Uh, one of them is 60 to 1, and that's Fina. The yeah, other, he's not a long shot. It's just, yeah, he's, it's just a bad number. Yeah, and <laughs> er, er, but uh, my most recent pickup uh, in fantasy last week is your top long shot, Eric Van Royen, at 110 to 1. Um, and then my three long shots are going to be Keith Mitchell at 90 to one, Nick Taylor at a hundred to one. And, uh, I'm going back to Novak at 150 to one because he still keeps playing well. I mean, he shouldn't be 150 to one Novak the way he's playing right now. I know he's, yep. he's a no name, but, uh, he's, his game is really on right now. So those are the five long shots we have. Jared, talk about, uh, Fino and Van Royen. Yeah. Fino's not someone I came into the week planning to bat. I just think 60 to one is too big of a number for him. His ball striking has been unbelievable this season, you know, gained 8.3 strokes at farmers, 4.9 strokes at pebble, uh, 5.9 strokes at Genesis, uh, 6.3 strokes in Mexico. The putting obviously has been a problem. He did turn that around in Mexico. He gained 0.3 strokes actually, you know, that's always the key with Fina, but um, just, you know, you, you gotta be in control of your ball at this golf course and if he now obviously is right now so i think if he can putt okay he can be in the mix and then van royan i mean someone who's just is playing well playing well in florida was just right in the mix at honda which i think is probably the most similar course to this one maybe i don't know if you agree with that jan but it's a it's a shorter florida golf course so i like that he played well at honda and van royan i gotta i gotta pull this up he has played here once it was was it last year or was 13th, it 2022 years ago 13th in 2022 Gained 11.3 strokes on approach. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm assuming that led the field. He actually lost strokes putting that year. But Okay, sorry. Russell Henley led the field that year with 11.5 gain, uh, strokes gained on approach. Van Royen was next at 11.3. So he, he definitely has some good vibes at this golf course from that, uh, from that first appearance in 2022. Uh, six top 25s in his last eight this year with two top 10s in that runner-up you're talking about. He was 25th last week um and by the way um i went with mitchell because uh he's also uh playing pretty well like he normally has done lately uh at this time of year um he's made four out of five cuts at players he's coming in with three straight top 20s one top 10 and then the other guys i mean i don't think taylor should be 100 to 1 which is why i took him I mean, he's starting to now show that consistency that we've been waiting for. Yeah. Solid 12th last week. Just one top 20 here, and he's missed a couple of cuts, but he's also made three of them. And then, uh, yeah, Novak, uh, again, like I said, I just think that because um, he was 180 to 1 to start the week. Um, yeah. His, his, his stroked, uh, stroked gain stats are excellent uh, so far this year. The thing I'm scared about, he was 10 over par missing the cut here last year. 
Uh, I don't expect him to win, but I do think he's a good maybe if you'd look for a top 10 kind of guy because he's got three straight top 10s coming in. I I made two other long shot bets on Monday morning that I didn't include on these picks because their odds have have, uh, been cut in half, actually. Nick Taylor, I got it 200 to 1 on FanDuel. 200 to morning. 1. And then, yep. And then, and the other one is uh, Doug Gim. I bet at 200 to 1. I think he's now been cut to 100 to 1, playing playing the, his, the best golf of his career so far this year and has had a lot of success at this course. Um, so, you know, I don't know if I trust the guy to actually win it on Sunday, but I do think 200 to 1 was, you know, too big of a number for, for both Gim and Nick Taylor. Wow. All right. Yeah, I don't think he can win it. You just get so nervous. <laughs> I don't think he can control it, but he is playing better. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like to – well, I, my favorite swing is Tony Finau, so I love that golf swing technically. It's really good, and he's strong. Eric Van Ruen, I, I was going to take him – and I should have uh, – down in uh, in Honda. But mm-hmm. My only concern is that he's a little bit short. He's, he's a slightly – you know, he's shorter than average. Well, I mean, they're all long, but he's a little bit shorter than the top guys, and so that means that if, the, if you get any kind of – bad weather he's he's going to be struggling with um you know the longer irons all right so that's going to wrap it up um so uh, uh you're going with justin thomas with your one and done jared or you're not sure yeah because these are very top likely pick. i mean yeah i'm very likely going thomas if i did go elsewhere if you want to give me if you want me to give you two other names sure. i'd say homa and zal torres would be my second and third choices there you go. Cause... I want to, Well, the thing is, if you go with a Scheffler or Zella Taurus, a lot of people have taken them, haven't they? Yeah, so again, Scheffler's been used by 30% of That's not a lot. people, so he's still available for 70. Um, yeah. Zella Taurus, I didn't, I didn't look at, but I'm sure he's still available for most. Scheffler, yeah. Scheffler's going to be, like, super popular. He is. Week, and, I would but, think so. I mean, but look, there could be some people that are, are going to be against the back-to-back, and that's possible. It is. I mean, uh, but I could see another 30% going with Sheffield this week. So Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, and Jan, uh, who's your, do you have a top three before we uh, close out? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the favorites, obviously. <laughs> the, the first two, I'm, I'm, I'm doing um, Scheffler and, and – uh, and Zalatoris, but I, you know they're both so favored. I would like to go with someone with a little bit more longer shot. Well, you got Lowry. You like Lowry, don't you? I like Lowry a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't. Should. I don't think. I don't think Zalatoris will be that popular. I agree. Um, I think. I think Justin Thomas might be the second most popular one and done mm-hmm. after Shuffler. It's possible. But I'm still taking him. Yeah. I mean, Matsuyama him. could be taken this week. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if. And look, you got McElroy still. Some people probably mm-hmm. still take a McElroy. Um, yep. and then you've got other players. Yeah. You get a whole lot of players to choose from. So yeah, I agree. I don't think, I think <laughs> Scheffler is the only one that's going to be taken. I, I, you know, as, as you said, a lot. Yeah. So, agreed. um, so, so we'll go with Scheffler, Lowry and, uh, uh, Zalatoris for Jan. We all have Zalatoris, uh, which, which is a bad sign for Zalatoris. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, so we'll see. And, uh, I don't know. It sounds like Jan might be leaning towards Lowry. Yeah, I'm leaning towards Lowry. Right. I, I like the way he drove it. All right. So Jan will probably like go with Lowry. Jared will take JT. I'll go with Scheffler. And um, uh, we'll be back. Jan will be back next week. Uh, yeah, next week. Valspar, next week. Yep. So yep. she's not going to be. I don't. Well, we'll see if we can get you on the show because a lot's going to depend on. Because on, you might even be there on Tuesday. So oh, I'll, I'll be there Tuesday and Wednesday uh, filming swings. And then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and Monday I play in the Celebrity Pro Am, so uh, you'll be busy next week. Three days, I'm done. Yeah. So either way, if we don't get you on the show next week, we're definitely going to get all of the video that you're going to bring from Valspar that we'll post on the channel, and then of course we'll definitely see you for the Masters uh, coverage because you are going out to Augusta, and we'll uh, uh, obviously be letting uh, people know how we're going to, uh, you know, swing that um because uh, they're not going to let you do a whole lot uh that valspar will so all right guys appreciate it uh i know you all uh, both have to run so uh we'll see you soon okay thanks very much it's good to see you guys